So this is the second part to going from Creo, a 3D model, out to your actual uh, laser engraver. So now that I have my three parts all in a line, okay, I need to create a drawing. So I'm just going to go to New, and I'm going to go Drawing, okay, and I'm going to call it Puzzle. Okay, oops, it already creates it, so I'm going to call it Puzzle 2, okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a C size drawing because my puzzle's been done in inches and C drawing is 22 by 17. So I'm going to click OK. And what's going to happen is it comes into the drawing part of the Creo. And I've got different parts here. Now I can just move this if I want. Um, I can delete these things over here. But what I can't do is I can't delete this one here. Because if I try and delete it, what it's going to have, what it's going to do is actually delete both. So I'm just going to hit no. Okay, I'm going to have to leave these two. Now, what I want to make sure is my scale is one to one. Okay, to make sure that it prints out the right size or transfers the right size. And the only other thing I'm going to change is under size here. I'm going to change from C size now down to custom. And I'm going to change this to 24. And I'm going to change the height to 12 to match the laser engraver. And I hit OK. So this stuff's all on the screen. Everything's good. So I'm just going to save this now as a DXF file. So I'm going to go File, Save As. Okay, I'm going to go to export, click on DXF, and I'm going to export. I'm going to call it puzzle, and I've already created one already. Okay, and I'm going to replace it. Okay, so that part's done. Now if I go to ProGCAD, okay, there's my original stuff I started with. I'm going to open, go to puzzle, and now it comes in. And you can see there's my border, it's 24 by 12. Right? And these are my parts. Now I don't need the stuff. Okay, so I'm going to hit delete, and to transfer it to the laser engraver, I highlight and I'm going to change this to red and I'm going to change my line thickness to 0.05 here my line weight and now I'm in red and I'm ready to go to laser engraver so file plot okay and don't mind these things because I'm not on the network right now printer name I'm going to grab laser engraver or in your case it might be VLS 3.50 and I want scale custom well I'm going to make sure it is one to one but it is okay I want what to print limits okay and I want down here landscape so printers right limits scale one to one landscape now if I hit preview you can see it's there so I hit print it goes away now if I come down here there it is in the laser engraver ready to go now it's just a matter of going to settings and setting up everything and then pressing print on the laser engraver before you go through this whole process just ensure that you've done a test to make sure the plastics actually match up so for example this is using quarter inch plastic and I've actually set it up so that it will work however if you were to change plastic then obviously thicknesses and things would have to change and that concludes how to go from your 3d puzzle okay that you've assembled in Creo to going to an actual layout right still in 3d because you have to put all the parts into there all the way to your drawing right getting it there to Pro GCAD and finally printing it out with the laser engraver software right there. Okay, thank you very much and hopefully it works out for you.